You know, the advantages of a stroke uh, if they understand half of what you say, you're a success. And I want to, to talk about Gary Cooper, because I love the guy, and I can best tell you what I think of Gary Cooper when I think of a movie that I did in 1961. I was in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and the movie was called Lonely of the Brave. It happened to be one of my favorite movies. And it's based on a book called The Last Hero by Ever Abbey. So when I had to do the movie, I was almost forced to write a letter to Gary Cooper. And this is what I wrote. This was in 1961. Dear Coop, when for years you have affection for a God and you find that suddenly turning to resentment, you begin to think it deserves some comment. When the guy you find yourself disliking is loved by the entire world, you know you you damn well better explain. What I'm talking about is not liking you. Now put yourself in my spot. I'm doing a picture that should have been done by only one guy. I know it. My entire company knows it. Start with the title, The Last Hero. Now, who does that fit? Me? Hell no. Next, the author, Edward Abbey, a ranger working in the petrified forest. They tell me before I meet him, that he's written about himself. So now he comes to Albuquerque, where we're shooting, and I go to meet him at the airport. Fifty guys slip off the plane, but I spot him immediately. Why? He looks like Gary Cooper. To make matters worse, when I meet him, he talks like Gary Cooper. So now we start shooting, and I learned first that I have an ins insensitive director who doesn't give a damn about anything except making the picture real. I give you verbatim, verbatim my first and only direction. Kirk, just try and play this the way Gary Cooper would. When I say only, I don't mean I get the hit once. I mean it's the only thing I hear before each shot. And by the four, fourth day, I have now decided I must get close to being Coop just so I can stop being hounded. Ah, but well, there's a rub. It sounded easy to me because I say to myself, Coop is a simple man. Natural. So I'll just be natural. Then I learned the big, big lesson. It ain't easy. My temptation is to ask, how the hell have you done it? What is the secret of this peace with yourself and your world? But then I know you couldn't possibly tell me 
I'd have to live your entire life, grow, adjust, mature, as you have done. And I know now that at best I will come remotely close. But most important, I do know also that just trying to be you will make a better me. So, Coop, even though I may be sore as hell as you, but now I thank you, I thank you, I thank you.